Today, I'm going to teach you the best techniques on how to cut front surface mirrors. I will outline the exact tools you need and how to properly use them. I will also be teaching you how to clean the glass without damaging the coating. Cutting a front surface mirror, also known as a first surface mirror, is challenging because of the protective laminate. Knowing the specific techniques on cutting it and handling it will save you a bunch of wasted time and materials. Before you start cutting, you will need some critical safety gear. I'm going to show you my favorites that have been tried and tested in our facility. Now for safety gloves, we like to use the brand MaxiFlex. The advantage of using these gloves is that they are much more flexible than any other gloves, which allows easy handling of both the glass and the tools. We also can't forget about eye protection. In a perfect world, we would all have a CNC machine at our fingertips to cut the glass. Obviously, this isn't realistic unless you have a limited budget and space. I'm going to go over the inexpensive alternatives, which provides a high level of precision. The Morton glass cutting system is a compact waffle grid, which allows you to easily place the guides and allowing easy measuring and accurate repeat cutting. Glass cutting pieces can simply snap on and off the grid, so the first thing you will want to do is create a straight line with these pieces. Then take another piece and put it along the same line as the other piece. Now take this piece, this is the piece that helps adjust the piece to a certain length. This also pops in and out from the grid of the appropriate position. Now I will show you the front surface mirror. Typically, on the front surface mirror, you will want to cut it on the laminate side. That way you can get a clean cut. An easy way for you to measure the line is to take a fine tip sharpie and draw the line. Then simply line up the line for the cut with your glass tool. One of the important things to do is keep in mind that with your glass tool, the glass score wheel has a bit of a gap between the head and the edge of the tool. Next you'll want to line it up and then you'll want to take this piece and then have it come out of the appropriate length, then screw it into the table. This is very useful when doing repetitive cuts one after another because now everything is set up for you and your cuts. So next you will want to cut the front surface mirror. To cut a front surface mirror, you will want to hold the glass tool just like this. So that way the longer the angle, the longer the edge is towards you. You will want to angle the pen, then lightly grasp the glass so that way it does not move. So first, start from the very edge of the glass and apply firm pressure to where you hear the glass scoring sound. Next, you'll want to pop out your glass and use the running pliers to break the... While doing this, you will want to make sure that your pliers match the thickness of the glass. All you have to do is put the pliers on the glass and turn this little knob as seen here. On the pliers, there's a line in the middle of the head of the steel and you will want to line up the glass cut that you just made with the running pliers. Then simply press down on the handle. Then the next step is that you will want to sand the edges of the glass. As you see here, I am using a sanding block. So you will want to apply firm pressure while you hold it at a 45 degree angle. In our facility, we also like to use a belt sander. For your convenience, I'm leaving a complete list of our favorite tools in the description below. Have you ever cut glass before? Leave a comment down below about the tools that you use and how it turned out. Have you cut your glass accurately? A standard ruler won't be accurate enough for many projects. You will want to measure the glass to make sure it's at an accurate cutting tolerance. For this, you'll want to use a digital caliper. Even inexpensive calibers provide a high level of accuracy. So simply just turn it on and off. Make sure you zero it out. You can set it to inches or millimeters. Zero it out again. Okay. 
The final step is cleaning your glass. First, I would recommend a duster. That way, it won't cause any abrasion on the glass. The duster is a great option because there could be some extra residue or debris on your wipes from older past projects. If you're using the duster, be sure not to shake it and spray it evenly on the top. One thing to not do with a duster is that you don't want to angle it too much. What usually causes optical mirrors to be dirty is oil, especially from fingerprints. To clean off the fingerprints on your mirror, you'll want to use isopropyl alcohol. You can also use glass lens cleaner from your local grocery or hardware store. So just spray the cleaner onto the glass surface. Next, you will want to use a microfiber wipe or even use Kimtech wipes, which are disposable. You will want to rotate the wipe after each swipe so that way you are not dragging any dirt across. As you can see, we now have a nice clean surface. Finally, after you have installed your optics and if you ever want to transport it or protect it from long storage, we recommend using Pre-Coat 33. This is a special spray that applies to be a blue laminate, as you can see. But be sure to only use this outdoors. So you will want to lay out your optics in a well-vented area or outside if you prefer. So lay it down on the surface and spray about 6 to 12 inches away so that you can get a nice coating on the surface and you will want to do that about a minimum of three times and then by doing that, it will create the laminate. To take this off, the spray laminate, you would want to take a piece of tape and simply lay it on the surface, then peel back the tape, which will peel back the laminate in this process. You can easily peel off our original blue laminate to get to the surface of the mirror. Questions? Leave a comment down below or shoot over an email.